Munich, a beautifully antique German city, home to the Bayern Munich Football Club, and one of the best places to celebrate the Oktoberfest among the Germans and the multicultural locals habiting there. Me right now, I'm on the van, on my way to the airport. Matthew here is giving man enough confidence to make a million jokes about me getting deported. <laughs> or not even make it to Germany. Fabio, you're getting deported. Fabio, I miss you. I'll miss you. But I think I'm going to Portugal in the summer, so I'll see you there. And these students are about to add the spice of Scotland to it. But where did this wonderful idea come from? The idea for the project came because we have always had a link with the school in Germany and we wanted to work with them again because we love Germany, we love Munich, we love the school, we love the people, so it was um, I ideal to have a good project with them. Are you excited? I'm excited. You excited, Reese? No. No? Yes, Why not? I'm excited. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're not excited? Because... I better improvise a bleep if I want this to be a PG film. <laughs> Don't worry, this is not going to go. <laughs> Act natural, no, 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 act natural, act natural. For fuck's sake. There it is. You know what? I call you acting natural for like five seconds, so that's good enough already. Because I'm making a YouTube video. A video for Of us in Germany. And I'm going to put it on YouTube. I have a video of me. Probs. We're going to Germany! I know! I see Looking forward to the fight. Do all right. So you don't have any fears or anything, right? <laughs> That's everyone's fear, I get. They're going up. They're going up. Who are you most looking forward to see when you arrive in Germany? I don't know if that's good or bad. Green can There is a center. This is Dorf. Olympia Dorf. Yeah, this yeah. is Olympia Dorf. Yeah. And it's quite it's chic to buy them something in the village. It's no, you know what we should do? We should do a paper plane and see how far away it goes. Yeah, okay. Make a paper plane. I don't have some paper. Do it. No, someone make it because I'm bad at making paper planes. <laughs> I can't do it. Can you do it? You do it. Yeah. My, my you idea. See this in no, Stadium. My idea. Huh? In my idea. Stadium and England fan. Do a, um, no. Oh, I saw the video. He like made one and he went. Yes, and then went so cool. Headshot. Headshot. <laughs> Stairs, I guess. Do it. Wait, 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 wait. No. Yeah, I'm ready. <laughs> Rebecca, where is it? Oh, there it is. I can't see. I'm not tall enough. And it was it's there somewhere, but I don't, I don't know. Where. <laughs> yeah, it's gone. Hey, when the paper plane got there in the BMP, yeah, oh, yes. We need to make a better one. Down. Yeah. Just throw it. I didn't fly. You see. This is the best cameraman we could afford, considering the budget the production team was on. <laughs> I have no idea, to be honest. Yep, it's... Oh, wait, it's there! What are you actually looking wait. at? There, oh, it's there! There it is! It's there somewhere, but... I know it. Some of them... I can see it from here! No, oh, you're there. dumbling, it was right there! Right there! Yeah, I see it! <laughs> It's not even going down, it's like going up a little. <laughs> oh, never mind that then. Gummy bears are...
You guys having fun? I have fun. Cool. This is Thomas. Can you give us um, a quick sum up of what we did today? I uh, went to the Olympia Park and then we went swimming. Uh huh. And <laughs> you didn't want to get in the water. Yeah. But we throwing you inside. Got pushed in by Neil Bronwyn. I got pushed in as well. I'm really you wet got right now. Pushed by everyone. Yeah. You, hey, are you Marco Twerk? Oh, no, don't twerk. work. <laughs> After we were released by our teachers, some of us made an independent visit to a local park known as Iceberg, where, upon looking at beast like streams, we had an infallible idea. You know what to do with that big fat butt. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. All right, so this is day two of the German trip to Munich. Um, today we're going to the Allianz Arena. All right, to the Allianz Arena, whatever. And then we were thinking of going somewhere after we do that, but things might look like they might get bad or something. Because Ross told um, Mr. New and he said that we can't go to the river anymore. So far, um, okay. Can we video everyone? No, Bromus taking pictures. Hi. Hi, Manda. Everyone say hi. Uh, say hi. No. Say hi. 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 Fabio is doing a documentary of the whole trip, so you need to say hi or something. Hi, everybody. This is Cornell um, speaking from the underground Neuperlach Zentrum station. We're on our way into the city centre and we're going to have a great trip at the Bayern Munich Stadium this afternoon. Yeah! yeah. yeah. Bye. Bro, say hi. Wait, did you see that? Rewind the tape. At the Bayern Munich Stadium this afternoon. We are say hi. Say hi, guys. Hope say hi. Say hi. Hi. Oh. <laughs> guys, say hi. Hi. Bro, say hi. Guys, you need to say hi. Hi. Megan, say hi. Megan, say hi. There we go. Oh shit, now I'm like videoing all sorts of people. After that fun little episode of Page the Camera Girl, we headed into the centre of Munich. Hey, what do you want? Ah, oh my god. Hi there. How much? Alright, so right now we are approaching the Allianz Arena. That's it right there. Uh, you can see like right now it just looks like silver. The color is just silver. But at night when I was driving past it, well it wasn't me driving obviously, but when we drove past it, uh, it was actually red. And my supervisor, I guess you could call him that, he told me that it actually changes color. So it could go red one day or like if Brazil were to play here, it would probably be yellow or something like that. So it's actually pretty cool. Wow! Oh my god! Holy! Oh my god! This is high! You've been here for 20 minutes. Plenty of time to take pictures. Just take a seat. Okay, though. I'm back to get started. I'm back to get started. Wait, what? 
What can I ask you next? What? What you? Ha. to let us do our own epic intro to the Champions League theme song. <laughs> they don't film when they're coming down the stairs. <laughs> <laughs> And that was the end of our trip with the teachers for the day. Remember we had said that the students at the park had a wonderful idea while looking at the moderately strong canal streams? Alright, so right now we're going to jump into the cold stream. Um, I can't swim. Not all of us can. If we die, Mom, I love you. Um, the password for my email is... Um, Rest in peace. And yeah, wishes good luck. No, do not touch me. No, no, no. I'll try to sit you in this one. Don't. It feels nice. I don't want to go. Alright, I'm going to go. Wait, I want to sit. Let's just sit on it. Ross, go in! No, don't, Ross. Let's just sit on it. I don't know how to jump. We have to jump. Are you ready? Oh my head. One, two, three. <laughs> He's just won. He's just won. Oh, <laughs> so we jumped into the water, and water. it was fun, but I'm freezing. I don't understand how you can be cold. And, okay, so. and that was the end of the day for Fabio and Joe. If they hadn't got into trouble with the law later that day. Alright, um, so this is the end of the second day of our trip to Munich and I already had another incident. The first one being when I got lost for three hours in my German's neighborhood. Turns out that the people that check the tickets on the trains, they do come because me and Joe were on the trains, on the subway actually, and then they come on and they're like, where are your tickets? And we show them what we think are the tickets that we can use, but you can't use them. And we went to jail. We're going to need a more reliable source. Yeah, because Fabio's exaggerating. They asked us for our Germans' addresses and their numbers, and we had no idea what they were. So eventually they're just like, right, sorry, we need to take you to the police station. I was in tears, and I was in a pure state, and Fabio comforted me. Thank you, Fabio. Um, and eventually Fabio got through to his German, got his German's phone number, and phoned their Germans, who got the addresses for my German, his German, and the phone numbers. And then we got a leaflet that said, you've got four weeks to pay, 40 euros, and me being the honest, uncomfortable person that I am, I paid 20 euros because my German's dad wanted to pay half of it the next day. But Fabio, the he pay it? No, <laughs> he's a rebel. I just find it really freaking shocking that they couldn't let two Scottish people who'd been in Germany for two days on an exchange trip, couldn't let them go with a warning. I can tell you that I'm going to start buying my tickets from now.